Hi, this is Teal from Pagablogs.com. Today I want to show you the sketchbooks that I filled up in 2015. Five of them and all these are filled up during my holiday trips overseas. Let's take a look at them one by one. These are the five sketchbooks that I used. Let me start with the first one. The first one is a Strathmore 400 series watercolor journal. I bought this one to go for the trip in Bandung. The trip is organized by Bandung Sketchers. And it's a trip with workshops and sketch walks. I like drawing when I'm on holidays because it makes me remember more of the scene. For example, in this particular sketch here, it was raining very heavily. I was on the third floor in some building and I was sketching basically the houses that are down there by the river. And there's this huge building here that's in the background. I still remember that. It's quite a contrast um, from this modern building against the villages, which are almost all of them are like old houses. So I managed to fill up the sketchbook during that four day trip, I think. And I drew very, very fast. That's why I was able to fill that up. The next trip was to Hong Kong. I spent 10 days there with my girlfriend. She likes Hong Kong, so I organized a trip there to Hong Kong. These are some of the sketches. We went to Hong Kong and Macau. I think it's five days in Hong Kong and the rest in Macau. It's a very fun trip. It's a very hot uh, climate there during July while we were there. Most of these sketches are drawn in just black and white ink. I colored them when I back when I'm back home because uh, I don't have the time to just uh, do so many watercolor sketches. I managed to fill up about maybe 80% of the book. I left some pages. If I go back to Hong Kong again, I will bring back uh, this sketchbook. This is a Stillman and Burn Alpha series sketchbook, and it handles uh, light washers quite well. So after the Hong Kong trip, there's the Urban Sketches Symposium. I was there making videos and also when I'm not making videos, I'm drawing with the sketches as well. These are some of the workshops that I attended as a correspondent there. There's Shari Blakov. This is during Frank Ching's workshop where he teaches people how to analyze scenes. That's Virginia Hein. That's Paul. This is a customized sketchbook that uses um, Fabriano paper, I think. And this is the Moleskin sketchbook that I brought to Bali and where is it? Ipoh, Malaysia. Bali in Indonesia and Ipoh in Malaysia. So I went back to Bali again with my girlfriend just to show her around the paddy fields, the temples and basically what, where I went to while I was on holiday the year before. I did not manage to finish the whole sketchbook, so halfway I went to Ipoh. These are sketches from Ipoh. It's basically a food paradise there. The food there is amazing. This is the hotel that I stayed at. It's called Ibis Style. So I'm at a hotel drawing. Uh, I'm drawing from the hotel. I, I cannot remember which floor though. And the rest of the sketchbooks are filled with everyday sketches from Singapore. So just some of the sketches from Singapore. The last sketchbook, this is a customized sketch sketchbook that, is, that I sent to the Society of Physical Disabled here in Singapore. This uses the Fabriano Artistical watercolor paper 100% cotton so the paper quality is very good so that's the sticker for them 
and I brought this sketchbook to Australia, Melbourne and Sydney. There are only 40 pages so I spent 10 days there and was able to basically cover everything. Cover as in I managed to fill up the sketchbook. So all these are just drawn on location. This is drawn from inside the car because it's quite cold there so I stayed inside the car and draw from inside the car. Travel postals, I finally get to see them. It's no longer 12, I think it's only like 7, 8 or 9 left. That's in Melbourne and half of the book is half of the half of the book features Sydney sketches, Opera House. Finally had the chance to see that. Thanks to Liz Dale who brought us there. This is Argo Street. And this is the Botanic Garden. Looking at the Sydney skyline. Sydney is a very beautiful city. And I really enjoyed my holiday there. Also with my girlfriend. This is the Chinatown in Sydney. And the last sketch was drawn before we depart from Sydney Airport. This is Central Station in Sydney. So we had to take a train from here to the airport on the 16th of November 2015. So these are the sketchbooks that hold special memories for me. I prefer to use sketchbooks rather than cameras when capturing uh, scenes like my holiday. Um, I feel that I remember everything that happens better with uh, sketches. When I sketch them, when I sketch a particular scene, I spend like one hour, two hours sitting there. So I can remember better because I'm looking at the details, I'm recording them down with uh, pen and ink and watercolor at times. And even though I took photographs during my holiday, I don't really refer back to them. However, with sketchbooks, I put them in the shelf. I can always take them out and flip through the pages to remind myself of um, what happened there and then. Some of the scenes are, even though I sketch, let's say, for example, this particular temple scene, it's just a composition of the statues that are inside. Even though I did not sketch what is surrounding the, the gods, I can still remember how the temple looks like exactly the interior layout, how much smoke there are, the incense that is burning, the people praying, and all sorts of little details because I spent quite a bit of time sitting on a chair inside the temple to sketch this. If I were just to be taking a photo then I wouldn't remember as much. So um, that's one big advantage of drawing when you are on a holiday. That's that's all for today's video. I hope you find this helpful or inspiring or what, so um, you can start your own sketching holidays as well. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next video. Oh, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so for more sketching tips, techniques, art books, sketchbook features, and art product reviews. Bye bye.